Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and give you praise for this bright new day. Thank you, O God, for the gift of life. You are ever faithful. You are ever dependable. You are always there. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Thank you for occasions of joy. Thank you, O God, for occasions of your presence. Blessed be your name. And today, I say to that person there, never, never give up, for it is not over. Don't give up. It's not over for you. It's not over with you. It is when you give up that it is over. So today, hold on to the Lord. Trouble not your heart, even when you goof. Even when you fail, even when it seems that you are broken down, even when you commit blunder, even when you err, don't give up. Persistence is the key. With God, there is no touch and go. It must be touch and stay. It must be touch and stick to the Lord. Job said, all the days of my life, I will cling to God until my change comes. So don't give up. So receive grace this morning not to give up. I pray that the anointing to hold on to the Lord will come upon somebody there afresh this morning. You will not give in. You will never, never call it a day. The grace not to capitulate is released unto you. The grace not to lose heart is yours today. The Bible says, hope does not disappoint because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. As you hold on to hope, you will never, never be disappointed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive Abrahamic anointing this morning. Who against hope believed in hope? Has God told you anything? Please hold on. Because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should change his mind. So receive grace not to give up in fellowshipping with other brethren, because God solves problem in Zion. He has promised in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And Hebrews 10.25 says, Forsake not the gathering together of brethren. So don't give up in fellowshipping with other brethren. Don't give up in going to Zion. That is where your help is. That is where God has deposited your assistance. And that is where God lives. He said in Psalm 132, I've chosen Zion for my habitation from verse 13 to 15. So as you hold on to fellowship, the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. Don't give up in prayer because unto him who answers prayer shall all flesh come. Don't give up on your children. The father of the prodigal son did not give up. And I pray, whatever is lost in their lives will be regained. Have you been barren in the fruit of your body? Have you been barren in your labor and your endeavors? Have you been barren even over your children? There is time for change, and that time is now. Don't give up. So today, I decree now is your time. The time to favor you 
is here finally. Your waiting time is almost over. Your time of dryness is over. The time of mourning is over. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it will be a time of testimony for you before Easter. Before Easter, your testimony is there for you to celebrate. Before Easter, your glorification is here. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And so I pray that today we mark a turning point in your life. Things will begin to turn in your favor as from today. You will end this day with plenty of things to celebrate. You will end today with something to show. Something to show. Because today, God will show up in your life and give the devil a showdown. Putting in your hand something to show for your faith. Something to show for your labor. So shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.